Hi there, my name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and this week's question, can opening an email get you infected? This is a question that originates from the tech support subreddit of reddit.com. One of the people replied to the fact that this question is missing a lot of details, specificity to be more exact, and because of that, it's an basically overgeneralized question, which is actually true. See, most of you send emails that contain text only. In these cases, the chance of infection is virtually nil. And because of that, if the person was referring to that kind of event, then the answer would be no. Opening an email couldn't get you infected. The other thing is that sometimes people use multimedia, JPEGs, PNGs, MP3s, MP4s. And as I've said, these are a type of program and they are susceptible to infection and therefore can transmit infection into another computer. That being said, again, most email clients do not preload content of that kind without your permission. So most people trying to hack you or infect you won't choose this vector because it's not guaranteed that anybody allows any of the multimedia to actually run, and therefore it wouldn't work. No, the general consensus is that if you're going to infect a user by email, you have to do it with one of two tactics, and both of them are using an attachment. So the primary method of infecting somebody with an attachment is through a spear phishing attack using titles such as job promotions and pay raises and things like that, usually in a business setting, hospital, school, city, sometimes individuals. And what ends up happening is the person has to open the document file or the other executable files in order for the virus to be launched. Now, if you were to take this file and save it to the hard drive, and scan it with an antivirus before ever doing anything to it, odds are that if it was infected, your antivirus could kill it before it does any damage to your computer and therefore you would risk nothing. And in many cases, your operating system, like Windows 10 combined with Defender and even your router could prevent any exchange of keys from ever occurring and prevent many ransomware viruses from ever encrypting your hard drive. So there is still a lot of technology and security that has arisen since the dawn of ransomware. Now the other thing, the other problem would be that the initial person that got infected does have an email client with an address book. In this case, people that they know risk being infected by email and because of your utter confidence in that person, you might be more inclined to open that email's attachment. Remember, it's not because you know the person that that email was A, sent by them and B, contains a safe file. Treat all emails as hostile and treat all attachments as possibly being infected. So when you go to Open the file, stop, download, save, scan, then see what's going on with this file. If the file is safe, then you can open it. If the file is not safe, the antivirus will get rid of it. And this is the only way you can prevent yourself from being infected. So to that person who asks, can opening an email get you infected? The answer is, no for text, maybe with images and other multimedia files, and it's definitely easy to do with attachments. So be careful online and treat everything as possibly being infected, even though most emails don't pose a risk on anybody whatsoever. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, Share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my website, tqaweekly.com, for show notes on this episode, past others, other ways of subscribing, and of course, the contact form to email me.
directly. And if you want to watch me play The Witcher 3, go to twitch.tv slash zaxis1981, link down below on YouTube. And I have changed my schedule, so on Thursday nights, instead of streaming at midnight, I'll be streaming at 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday, I'll be streaming again at midnight, and my streams end anywhere from 3 to 4 a.m. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.